Chang'an was the capital of the Tang Dynasty. After the ancient Silk Road flourished, it became a fancy international city and a trade hub linking the West with the East. The Emperor decided to send an envoy to the West to show his good intentions to the people of the foreign kingdoms and bring back rare treasures. Chen the envoy stepped on the legendary ancient Silk Road, starting from Chang'an via Liangzhu, Gangzhu, Suzhu, Gaocheng, and Shula, and then to the Kang Kingdom, Baghdad, Damascus, and at last Constantinople, the capital of the Fulin Kingdom, or Eastern Roman Empire. But at the time, it could take several years to complete the journey. Our handsome envoy also had to endure all kinds of challenges and threats. Finally, Fulin Kingdom was within reach. Fulin <coughs> Hey, my friend, wake up! This is where? I'm in Are you kidding? We're on a high-speed train from Istanbul to Ankara. Eh? The most difficult 150 kilometers oh. of the railway was built by the Chinese. The Tang envoy stepped out of the high-speed train and boarded the flight from Ankara to Beijing. Dear passengers, our flight will fly over the ancient Silk Road. Travelling across the Eurasian continent no longer takes years. The China mm. Railway Express has made transporting high-quality products from China to Central Asia and Europe so much easier and faster. We are now above Samarkand in Uzbekistan, an important city on the ancient Silk Road. Many historical relics have recorded the glory days of the ancient route. The mural in Afrasiab Museum is just one of them. Mm. The Central Asian natural gas pipeline is the longest of its kind in the world. People call it the Silk Road of Natural Resources. We are now flying over Kazakhstan. In 2013, President Xi Jinping raised the idea of the Silk Road economic belt for the first time oh. in Astana. The modern Silk Road is also a green one. With China's support, Astana now has a shelter forest system that will bring green to the road. Developing countries mm. and new economies along the Silk Road urgently need to develop their industrial infrastructure and transportation to improve people's livelihood. Chinese engineers can be seen in road construction in Tajikistan and wind energy projects in Pakistan. Mm. China has initiated the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road. Together with other countries, we will create a community of common destiny, benefit and responsibility. Within the community, we will have political mutual trust, integrated economies and cultural tolerance. The Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation will be held in Beijing. Let's all be a part in the revival of the Silk Road.